uh, before we get started with the practical, I want to give a warning that hydrochloric acid is very corrosive. You know, it's very corrosive. Uh, if you look carefully on, or, 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 or on a container of hydrochloric acid, uh, they have written that it's very corrosive. And also, copper salt are toxic in late doses. So make sure you wear gloves when you're handling it, okay? Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Motswana. Uh, I want to show you how to uh, make how to make a copper chloride. Uh, these are different ways that you can prepare. Uh, you can make a copper chloride. Now let's start with the first method. Okay, mm -hmm. the first way that you can make a copper chloride in a bottle. Okay, so the first way, uh, take your copper metals, take your copper metals, and then now uh, make sure uh, uh, you cover it up with it uh, with the hydrochloric acid. Okay. Just like how I do here in a picture, so you follow all the steps. And then when you finish, you bubble air throat. So you put that, uh, that, uh, 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 just like how you see there, and then you bubble it with the air throat. The reason why, when you do that, uh, because let's say you don't have a stirrer, stirrer is something that you're gonna stir up your copper, uh, metals in hydrochloric acid. So that, if you bubble air throat, see. Just like I see, means is gonna cause the oxygen in the air, see, to react to the copper in hydrochloric acid to produce a copper chloride. Just like I see in the equation here. But the problem with this method is that it's very slow, and it takes days to start off. So it takes days to start off. See, it's only get faster when you start to see that solution here, the solution of copper chloride. When it start to present in a solution, it start to be slightly faster. But you need to be very, very patient, you know, for this experiment to be conducted. Okay, so that's the phase method. Uh, also, uh, there's another ways how to how to do it. Let me show you another way. So another way that you can do it, uh, take your three thirty thirty gram of copper foils, and then add hydrochloric acid to cover it up means on top of the 30 gram of copper foils 200 milligram of hydrochloric acid and then after that you cover up also add the same size of 200 milligram but for this side now is hydrobroxide so you add hydrobroxide uh, 200 milligram so what is going to happen is this is going to result to the formation of copper chloride with water see because you have a copper foil and it react see so something which is very very important see make sure you you you, you add with the steel instead of the uh, copper and hydrochloric acid why do you have to add the steel there if you put the steel there means it's gonna fasten the process see it's gonna fasten the process so the steel is kind of fasten the process of reactions so that we can get the copper chloride okay yeah so if you don't have a steel just in case that's what even our face uh even our face uh, reaction that i show you we had to use a bubble air throat because with the bubble air throat is going to cause the oxygen to react quick see but for this case on the second method we don't have oxygen gas here we only have a 30 gram of copper foils which we add with a 200 milligram of hydrochloric acid to cover it up on top of the copper foils and then we add again 200 milligram of hydrobroxide on top of it but that is going to give it is going to produce copper chloride and H2O see so steel is going to make the reaction you know to go fast it's going to fasten the process see yes so now we say hydrobroxide so what happened here why do we add hydrobroxide see because remember the hydrobroxide it has oxygen so this is going to direct oxidize the copper it's going to oxidize the copper and it reacts with the hydrochloric acid oh so it's going to oxidize the copper okay you know we say oxidize oxidize means you add oxygen and if you can look careful in hydrobroxide it's h2 or two so it has oxygen in it so it's going to oxidize the copper and react to the hydrochloric acid to produce a copper chloride see 
So all these reaction, if you can see, all of them they produce copper chloride, copper chloride, clo copper chloride. But these, the advantage of this, this is much faster and take a couple, couple of uh, hours to finish compared to the phase way because the phase way took a long, it took a long days, it took some days, not long days, some days, but the third way is you have to have a sulfate contamination so you have to have for example copper sulfate when you say sulfate contamination but for this case remember we want to deal with it we want to produce a copper chloride so i'd rather have a copper sulfate keep on adding hydrochloric acid add your hydrochloric acid you see because we know most of the time we never have our copper but for this case now you see we take a copper sulfate and then we add hydrochloric acid on top of it just to cover up but remember you must add your stirrer you say you must add a stirrer but sometimes what if you don't have a stirrer and then you're gonna have to have it uh, you're gonna have to take any apparatus that's gonna help you to stir it but when you add that uh, stirrer is gonna still until all copper sulfate that copper sulfate the one you see kind of like a purple blue that's a copper sulfate until all the copper sulfate is gonna disappear and then what happens is when it disappear means it's gonna form copper chloride see okay so you got your copper sulfate like you see and then when you add hydrochloric acid but with a stirrer but before you add hydrochloric acid you can add your stirrer you know why look you have a copper sulfate over there and then you add your stirrer. What happened? You start to stir it. Can you see st stir it? And then you add your hydrochloric acid until all the copper, see, is gonna dissolve. But I just give it a little time, right? Just give it some few minutes. It's gonna dissolve. So in a reaction, just like I was saying, you have a hydrochloric acid, and you add it with a copper sulfate, which has a copper contamination, and then we're gonna form four hydrogen ion and a copper chloride. See, we're gonna have a solution of copper chloride also sulfate ions but our 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 our, our eyes has to be on copper chloride so the copper chloride you see the stuff which is left uh, underneath those are copper chloride but uh this solution of copper chloride remember it has a sulfate ion you see the last one that's a sulfate ion here is gonna have a uh, solution of copper it's gonna have a solution of sulfate ion so this copper chloride is gonna have a solution of sulfate iron so these so this sulfate iron which we can still be used for PCB actions well, what do I mean about that you can see the sulfate iron that not interfere it's like can you see it's kind of separate so it just cannot interfere with this case this can be very convenient method to get the benefit of copper chloride if all you have is copper sulfate and hydrochloric acid you see just like how you see there and then on top of that we're not done yet if you can taste okay so now you have your copper chloride okay just like i see there is in green okay you can see faces start to turn green green and then so take so you can taste by dipping a piece of copper clip a piece of copper clip we want to see what's going to happen because you already have a copper chloride so take your piece of copper clip and dip it see so you can taste by dipping a piece of copper clip if the board edge clean can you see here it's how to get clean and then you have successful made it copper to chloride remember your intention is to change everything here we do we form in copper chloride you can see all our products we have a copper chloride so these are three ways or three methods that you can make or you can produce a copper chloride in laboratory so we have seen three ways see thanks a lot for watching and if you face time here please go ahead and subscribe share this video to other people so you know you don't keep it yourself so other people also can benefit also apart from that please visit to our, 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 our website and our YouTube and all the social media page where uh, we have a platform where we feed people helping the homeless people just like how you saw thanks a lot of your time peace in the mouth